Hey everyone, and welcome to part 82 of my Elden Ring Let's Play. I believe it's part 82. I'm not, I'm really not good at keeping up with parts, but I, but I think it is. I, well, as far as I know, I've been mistaken twice about whenever I say like, the actual episode number. I, um, I've only been mistaken twice. So it's not that I'm not good at keeping up, it's more I'm unsure most of the time. So <laughs> I try to, um, I try to not say the wrong thing. I'll just, I'll just say, yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, <laughs> let's not get into that. Didn't even make much sense. Um, this episode we're going to be going up to up Mount Gelmir a bit. Uh, my my goal is to finish this side path of Mount Gelmir uh, that goes all the way behind it, or I guess in front of it, depending which side you're you're on. But um, all the way behind it and all the way around, it finishes up somewhere around here. And even even though there's there's a side of grace, there's another side of grace like here, and there's an NPC one we want to talk to over there. So that that's my goal um, for this episode. There is a boss that might be difficult standing between us, and there is um, still a long way to go, but should be doable in about thirty minutes. Oh, that's a lot of damage. We're also looking to get 38,000 runes to level up once more. Get another point into strength. Uh, so we can do a bit more damage. Also, I am considering, uh, and it's probably a huge mistake, but it looks so great uh, for a let's play. I'm try gesturing. What? A talisman here? What gesture? Uh, this? I can. I mean, you're not telling me which Cheshire I have to, to do, so... I could switch to... Uh, uh, the Polite Vow, maybe? Prayer? Probably Prayer, right? I'm, I'm getting trolled by, the, by this... Um, yeah, I'm getting absolutely trolled by this message. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I'm thinking of starring a uh, Starfield Let's Play. Problem is, you know, actually commentating. Um, as I mentioned before, I like to to uh, record when I'm when I when I'm well undisturbed for long periods of time, uh, so I can cut down on the amount of times I have to edit. So, if I have two videos or two Let's Plays going on at the same time, well, you know, it's a bit difficult to to manage. Plus, I don't want to really, you know, just give up on Elden Ring. Because I know if I start another Let's Play and I prefer it, which I guess I could, because, you know, it's a new game. Sure, I, I like Elden Ring a lot, but I also kind of already played it three times over. And it's not a very replayable game, all for like all it's worth. So, well, I can say it is replayable. It's a bit, I guess, it depends on on how you replay it. It's certainly hard to replay it to completion, like 100%. All the items, all the mini bosses, all the everything. I ho do hope you, you're not you're not uh, hearing those fireworks. Um, it is replayable to some degree, but what I mean is. If I start playing Elden R or Starfield and record it, I might get a bit bored of Elden Ring and you know put it in the back burner. And I really don't want to do that. I want to finish my Let's Plays. So I'm, I'm, I'm considering it, but I'll have to think very seriously about it. 
However, since I formatted my PC, I stopped being stubborn and we can't level up, but I'll, I'll pop a few runes. I stopped being stubborn and I uninstalled Adobe Premiere since it was, well, horrible. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to use DaVinci Resolve, which is, in my opinion, a far more stable video editing program. Because the thing is about Premiere, it wasn't like. He wasn't using it that was the problem, although I certainly crashed more times than I'd, I'd like. Uh, the problem with, with Adobe Premiere was um, sometimes I would output the video, or not output, export the video, that's uh, the word. I would export the video and it wouldn't have any audio at random. And I'm honestly not sure why, it just wouldn't. So, I don't want to deal with that. And hopefully DaVinci Resolve solves it. But... It, um, it's still a pain, a pain to to edit. I, don't, I really do not like editing videos. Well, at least not... Let's play. I don't, want, I don't like making cuts. Or, you know, putting in loaded text. Because it's just annoying. It makes me have to save two files. Uh, our ones on my PC, um, but I, I have also considered doing uh, like video essays or just general um, talk a lot about things at random that I have opinions on um, and upload those. I I have considered that, and that would require a bit more editing since obviously I do want to make my points clear. And that's usually easier to do if I have, like, graphs and animations and a bunch of other stuff on it, on the screen. Oh, I shouldn't have triggered all of these. Oh, well. Uh, just, oh, oh, God. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. So yeah, I mean, I also thought about doing that. I, mean, I thought about the Starfield Let's Play. I'm not sure if I will, but that was a very sick thought. That was great. Not as great as the dodge I did with the uh, the special attack from the, from this weapon in the the other in the past um, episode. But still pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I've tried to do other Let's Plays already, and they didn't really go well uh, for various reasons. So who knows? Uh, I tried to do a Breath of the Wild Let's Play. I recorded two parts, but I decided it wasn't up to my standards to some degree. Um, whatever stan standards I. I may have. It's not like I'm very rigorous um, about like my quality. The video should be high quality, in like the the literal sense of the word. Uh, it, it should be recorded in 1440p, decent bitrate, all that. But like the, the recording, I guess, like just you know talking about the game, playing the game. Um, I wasn't very. Um, clear about some things because of the, of the way I was recording. I was recording it late at night. Um, there was another game coming out that I wanted to play, so I'll be splitting my time between that game and two uh, Let's Plays, which is not ideal. Um, so I never really like, got into that let's play. Two episodes was the most, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just how it is, you know. I'm sure there's every, everyone that's on YouTube has probably recorded 
Let's Plays that they've not ever uploaded. Ooh, my voice is cracking. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the other time was I've also tried to record was Skyrim, which I've mentioned before, and I've al already explained why I couldn't uh, record that. And that would that wasn't even just a lack of time. It was far more opportune time to record. I just did not want to uh, deal with all the hassle. Plus, you know, I put a lot of hours, excuse me again, uh, a lot of hours into uh, that Skyrim mod pack, and I don't know, it feels like it would have been very, very difficult to do anything uh, while recording, because the pacing is completely different. Oh, okay. Okay, big man. Ooh, that third hit would have gotten me a bit bad. By the way, I do believe th this uh, armor is a reference to Smo's armor from Dark Souls 1. Prolatus, Inferno, Crozier, or Crozier. Colossal Hammer with the appearance of roiling flames, weapon of the Prolatus, you will lead the fire monks. Its heft, its heft represents the weight of, the, of their guardianship. The hammer head is unusually substantial and strong attacks will fling foes into the air. Well, is there anything inside? Yep. Are there any enemies inside? Armor is cookbook 7. What does that unlock for us? I forget where the, where the, the cookbooks go. Giant flame fire pot. Uh, what is that? This? Oh, oh. Uses FP. Oh, well, if uses FP, it's kind of counter counterproductive. The wretched fools. What are you calling a wretched fool? You'll never find me. I can see you. Survive it. I swear it. I'll soon be back at the Volcano Manor. Uh, seems like you didn't have much luck. Uh, what did we pick up? The Fire Scorpion Charm. Talisman carried by assassins to strike unseen. Oh, pretty much the same. Oh, so did the assassins of the Black Knights also hit this place? Interesting. I, w I wonder why. I guess if they were serving uh, Rani, since she was the culprit, they came to seal whatever was in this chest. And she obviously was probably a hostile to the Lord of the Volcano Manor, since they also possess uh, a great rune, so I'm sure she was hostile towards them. Um, we can't go up, can we? No. Uh, so I guess that's why she sent the assassins here, maybe? The lore in this game is convoluted and I'm not in a position to give you straight facts. At best I could, you know, speculate with whatever knowledge I may have. And the longer this let's play goes on uh, with me like taking big breaks between episodes, which is unfortunately something I have to do. Um, Whenever, um, or uh, the longer it goes, the longer, or the longer, or uh, sorry, not that, uh, the more likely it is I forget details, important details. It took me a while to get my words out. I think it's kind of funny, I, mean, I guess we, I can get into that while we just walk. 
Since there's really nothing going on, just... Yeah, there's nothing for the next few minutes, just planes and... There, there is a boss fight coming up, but it's not very interesting. I hope. It, it could be a bit hard, but... We'll see. Um, yeah, so... I've been recording for a while. But... I've still not been able to... Um, articulate my thoughts faster. And, I mean, okay, I, I've sort of gotten better at speaking in English um, and vocalizing better, but I have a very specific speech pattern or, or manner of speech in general that, um, I don't know, it feels like I can talk a lot but not really say anything that I really mean to. Uh, because I don't have the right words for it. If I'm writing, I, I can usually... Um, I can usually put, get my thoughts across. Uh, but my vocabulary is a bit limited, I will, I will say. I, I, I wish I relied less on like, the same words over and over. In the same terms. And now we gotta fight the mag another magma worm. We'll just fall one a few episodes back. Although that one was named, this one isn't. And this one hurts more. For some reason. Yeah, it hurts a lot more. Also doesn't stagger very easily. There we go. I have to hit you over here. There we go. But yeah, I mean, um, when it comes to speaking out loud in English, this like it was one of the goals for recording was just um, learning to speak better because I'm a software engineer or. I uh, hopefully I will be. Um, well, software developer. Let's. Uh, oh God! <laughs> I got one shot. Um, well, <laughs> okay. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm a software developer, and um, where I live, it's gonna be a bit difficult to find a well-paying job. Or. I say well paying, but let's just say um, something that's okay. So and like I can actually justify the fact that I spent so so many years studying. Um, so I, I'm hoping I can find a remote job somewhere. Um, hopefully the U.S. That would be great. That would be like the dream. But if not, there's other countries you all have to communicate with. And uh, if I'm working remote, since at least I don't plan to leave the country. Um, since I like it here. Um, since I'm working remote, I'm gonna have to be able to you know talk more naturally. So that's obviously gonna help getting a job. It's gonna help communicate with my teammates and all that stuff. Uh, even if they're like, if they, even if they're not native speakers either, um, as long as we both speak English, that should be fine. Why am I struggling so hard with this magma worm? We're 20 minutes in, and we still got a long ways to go at uh, this rate. Uh, it's gonna be difficult. But yeah, I mean, if I'm talking with um, with my teammates, my co-workers, I'm obviously gonna want to be fluent. So, it's par partially why I started recording videos, alongside just wanting to have um, the motivation to play games in a specific way, appreciate games more, because I'm recording and that kind of forces me to, um, I guess, be more thorough about what I'm doing. An item here? 
I don't oh, know, you just killed this... This poor goat. Hey, hey, that's all nice. Um, yeah, like that was the other reason I started recording, was just, I, I think I can appreciate games more if I'm recording, because I'm explaining my thoughts out loud. If I'm explaining my thoughts out loud, I'm reflecting on them, and I'm not just, you know, mindlessly consuming games. Oof, that's gonna be... It's gonna be... Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes I'm right on top of the mark and it doesn't actually trigger the stagger move, but this time I was clearly behind it and it still worked, so let's just pretend that makes sense. Ooh, that's a lot of magma, bro. Ooh, that, that was the one-shot move. Because it has, he has like the sword on fire. How did I stagger him again? Oh, there we go. Great enemy felt. Give me my runes. Dragon heart. Perfect. So as I was saying, um. Being able to reflect on, on games, in my opinion, makes them all more fun. Um, oh. What? Wait, that's Alexander. Oh, oh right, because he said he was coming down. I assume Torrent will just, like, immediately die. Oh, guess not. I'm not sure how I feel about... about my horse there. Oh, mountain of fire! Bake me in your flames! Mm. Ah! Good sir. What business might you have in such a place as this? I hardly think you're here to temper yourself with flame, considering that fleshly form of yours. Your timing, though, is impeccable as ever. I've been making just the thing for you on my journey here. Take it. I'm sure it'll suit you to a T. The char. But, uh, it's hardly more than lukewarm here. I won't be able to temper my body such that it'll never crack again. Perhaps I'll head eastward. There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. Wait, could you repeat that? Perhaps I'll head... There's an old saying I've caught wind of. Above the lofty clouds, the icy giant's peak doth soar. Here lieth the flame of ruin, which ever burning roars. I might be talking about the the flame cauldron the giants have. So that's where we'll meet you next, and huh? that's that's like thirty episodes away, if not more. But okay, well, have fun, Alexander. Ooh, and do whatever you're doing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever you're doing over there on in the magma. Some Mikalos Lily. Very funny character, that one. Try monster, lover ahead. Yeah, now we can see the academy from up here. Looks so distant. But I think 
I think this like perfectly illustrates the scale of this game. You've been there, you've been all all of everywhere, and it shows you this side. The verticality was an amazing and, and honest super smart uh, choice. The fact that you were all and I've, I've talked about it, this before, so I won't go into length. The fact you just go up and up and up, so you always look back on where you've been, and you you you, ca you get glimpses of, of like locations you, you might go to sometimes um, from like looking above or whenever your location you're on, on has like a an elevated platform of some kind maybe a mountain or whatever um, sometimes you, you get to see where you're going but most of the times you see where you've been and you see that so often because you're always going higher and that's so super smart. I really can't stress that enough. I should have rested, maybe. Because this isn't going to be fun. Uh, yep. Hello, Rune Bear. Can you can you come fight me? Really? Oh dear. Exactly. I was expecting him to let me heal at least. Did he... Did he destroy the statue? Because if he did, uh, that would save me a lot of trouble. Wait... We spawned over here. Hmm... 27 minutes. Do I want to make this a longer episode? It's not like we're far off. That's the major the last major obstacle. What are you doing? Oh, you're fighting each other. Yeah. That was a, that. That bear is the last major obstacle, so um, we might be fine on time. Depends on whether or not I die to it five more times. Maybe Mount Galmir wasn't exactly the best choice of um place to explore next, but whatever. We're almost done with it. At least the part that I want to do. We're almost done. But the enemies do hit hard, that's definitely what I what I kept talking about previously. The damage scaling in this game gets quite silly. There you go, smithing stone six times three. So they do get very tanky as well, and I feel like in a bit of an annoying way. But mostly it's the damage. I, I the damage and the attack delays. It's not that bad. It depends on the combo. It wasn't that bad. It, it, it does heavily depend on the combos they use. And I'm also trying to 
heavily brute force this, this, these encounters. I, I'm out of, I'm out of practice. So, um, you know, I'm not playing well. I'm just over level to some degree. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're at an appropriate level. Maybe a bit under it for this area. I mean, we do one shot this enemy, so I'm just gonna say we are at the proper level. Well, I think magma. I believe that's just an incantation. I mean, we could read it, but it's just ha oh, it was actually a spell. Okay, one of the sorceries developed from the magma of Mount Gelmir. Uh, after discovering the ancient axes of Gelmir, Rikard, son of Queen Renala, brought them back into practical use as a new form, as new forms of sorcery. Hmm. So. Rikard uses whatever magic Mount Gelmir has, even though he's the son of Ranala. I'm not sure if that was already explained before, but if not, yeah, Ranala, the the queen that we fought, um, had some children. I I believe um, it was Rikard. I'm not sure if I can say the other one, and. What was uh, what was the one we fought? What was his name? Damn, I'm drawing a blank here. Um, the guy with the pony, uh, Radan. I think Radan was also one of it, one of her children. Not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. I might be completely mixing up people here. Okay, that was a normal bear. I can deal with normal bears. Just not the big ones. Definitely not the big ones. Once again, the other tree here uh, takes a main, main like part of the background. Okay, thirty-two minutes. Ah, whatever. I'll just, it's not that far. Oh, I do believe there's something nearby, near the craftsman shack. Uh, there is an item somewhere that I need to grab, or maybe it's an NPC that moves here. Uh, lonely, oh, so lonely. Indeed. Uh, I do believe there's something nearby, but is this item it? Maybe it is. Holy crossbow. Uh, crossbow made with pulleys and power strings. The complex mechanism which required advanced mathematical and mechanical understanding to craft was likely made by a certain genius who learned golden order fundamentalism. One touch fires a volley of bolts. Be warned, large stores of bolts can be quickly spent. Well, I guess you don't want to be using the higher end bolts with that. Maybe. Oh, these fellas are a bit hard to hit. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Uh, got one. I like how they they circle you like in. Um, in completely different uh, rhythms. Did I unlock? The, yeah, unlock the, that place. I don't. I don't think the boss coming up is difficult, so I can probably just go and kill him. I don't have to rest to get back my flask. Okay, maybe if there's one of those, maybe maybe um, I'll struggle a bit. Can you stop for a moment? Well, this one is very aggressive. It's like... It's on fire. I wonder if... If that's on purpose. No, it's not being on fire. Why does it attack so quickly?
That was odd. Not sure why it attacked so quickly, but... Whatever. Get all these items, even though I don't craft a lot. Said I would, but I don't. Mostly because I haven't actually run into a proper wall. Just from, like, doing everything there is to do. Sacramental bud. Is there anything here? Nope. This last village is the final... Final thing I wanted to reach. The hermit village. Couldn't tell you why this village exists here. Ooh, but I like that I one-shot that guy. Okay, maybe we are at vitally... Slightly higher than supposed to level. I wouldn't say over level, but... By the definition of the word, I guess we are over level. Errant sorcerer. Uh, oh, this we have to read it here. Um, where would that be? Errant sorcerer, worn by Errant sorcerer Wilhelm, one of the first tarnished to visit the Round Table Hold, a silent seeker of sorcery who had gone so far as to make contact with the primeval current. Wilhelm was led by guidance into confrontation with his friend Vargram, and it is said that he was then taken prisoner in Round Table Hold. Prisoner in Round Table Hold. I wonder if uh, the blacksmith was Vargram. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Calm down with your magics there. No teacher ahead. Great view at the Altus Plateau and all, all its glory. Um, that village we're going to be exploring soon, well, those ruins, uh, that's the, the lift right above my head, and, uh, well, that's the city we've been to just to grab the map. Quite a few things, I guess, we have to do. Gonna be fun. I'm still enjoying playing the game, I, what I'm sort of getting the feeling is... The later parts of the, of the Let's Play, they're gonna be just tiresome, <laughs> like, at this point. When I, I was fully moti motivated at the, at the start to do another playthrough, and I still am for all these things, but then there's things that kind of don't want to do. I've been considering not doing them, but, you know, at this point, I've done so much, I could just do it all. It's just gonna take a little bit of effort. Item I had uh, probably already grabbed it, because um, there's a few bosses that are really really tough. Get rid of the sorcerers first.
good amount of damage. Should have hit that. Let's go back and heal. You do a lot of damage. Yeah, your hitboxes weren't great, honestly. I, I feel like I was hitting the legs a lot, but they the hits didn't connect. And here's who we wanted to talk to. I really did not plan to do this. I was gonna explore the Altus Plateau, but... So it doesn't say anything. Just standing there. Then it gives me Comet Azure. Maybe we can kill him? I'm not sure. But I'm not gonna... I'm not going to, but... I wonder if we can. Another point in strength. That's great. Um, yes, so if you go over here, you would actually be placed uh, right next... So you're above the the tree, by the way, the tree where we fought the thing. Uh, you'd be placed right next to this hero's grave. I mean, I could get it out of the way next episode, couldn't I? Because I'm right here, you know. There's actually not a whole lot of Mount Gelmer left. Hmm. I mean, sure, I guess I, I'll do it, since I'm here, there's no reason not to, even though it's a bit difficult and I'm gonna have to look up the path, it's, it's doable. I'm not gonna do it today, that's okay, that's gonna, I'm gonna leave that for some other day. Um, because this is certainly an annoying dungeon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, and I don't know when I'm going to record more, unfortunately. But I'll try, I'll try to be a bit more consistent. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.